always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. 517 now as we wake up on this Thursday morning. And as you can see, traffic moving along pretty smoothly, generally dry pavement across the region. Of course, yesterday morning we woke up with all the uh, rain, the heavy rain in the region, and then ended up seeing the clouds part. And we saw the sunshine yesterday afternoon for a few hours. But we are still impacted today by the same slow moving low pressure center, which will bring us more clouds today. Occasional rain showers in the overall pattern, cool and breezy, and that's going to be the trend that takes us right into the first part of the weekend. You can see those precip chances 60% today, 60% tomorrow, 50% on Saturday, mainly during the morning. We should tend to dry out during the afternoon on Saturday. Finally, back to some sunshine with those low precip chances for Sunday, and then you see another round of wet weather emerging as we head into the early to middle part of next week. Temperatures outside in the low to mid 40s right now, and temperatures really aren't going to go too far today. Combination of that southerly wind direction, the clouds, those occasional rain showers working through, sustained winds this morning running out of the south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. And you can see here on the satellite radar composite those isolated rain showers. The main storm center itself is located back to our west. This is the system that was located in central Minnesota yesterday gradually creeping to the east now and uh, once again we still have that same occluded front which is uh, really a good indicator to us that this is going to be a storm system that is not going to move very quickly here's a look at the upper level steering winds and again there's the position of that low pressure center the buckle in the jet stream acting as the conveyor belt to bring us into that really chilly air which will be with us during the day tomorrow as well in fact as that low is parked right overhead will be cold enough that we will see the potential tomorrow for a few slushy wet snowflakes to mix in and then finally that system will start to depart we're very cold here with highs only in the 30s on Saturday and then we finally start to tap some warmer weather as we head through the day on Sunday here's a look at that low and once again the future cast will show you those occasional pockets of rain moving through not a complete washout but once again you want to keep the umbrellas ready to go and those temperatures won't budge out of the 40s today tomorrow afternoon the chance of a light wintry mix rolling through and as that system finally weakens and clears out it will open the door for some sunshine to return on Sunday. Saturday's highs only in the 30s. Rain showers roll back in on Monday, and you can see temperatures in the 60s with occasional showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder developing toward the end of next week. So, Tom Hillen, how are drivers doing out there? Right now, so far, they're looking pretty good out there. The only thing that uh, could potentially slow them down right now, since we're not dealing with any uh, massive weather issues, are some of those orange barrels that continue to pop up along stretches of uh, West Michigan roadways. Uh, one that will be in place once again today. We saw this yesterday, and we'll see it again tomorrow. But lane closures will be in place along 28th Street, and that is between Eastern and Kalamazoo. And that will run from 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So not during those uh, peak morning or evening rush times, but still that could slow you down if you travel along the 28th Street corridor today, so it's heads up there. Also, keep in mind that we have the closure of Fulton Street between Monroe and the Grand River, so you know access over the Grand River uh, right now into downtown, and Market is also closed between 131 and Fulton. That one running through August. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Don. All right.